Stay connected. For more information, go to G4TechTV.com. Today on X-Play, admire unique new species and then kill them in Monster Hunter. Tanks go boom in Desert Rats versus Africa Corps. And this date goes badly in Star Ocean 3. Whatever floats your boat, it's game time. Now, with less profanity than Glengarry Glen Ross, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. You know, I'll prank Morgan smell vaguely of <clears throat> Anyway. Uh, hello and welcome to X-Play, the show that routinely features ninjas, World War II, and vicious monsters. Monsters like me. Yes. Today's show has a oh, real space. We have a new RPG from the people who brought us Final Fantasy. A World oh. War II strategy game that doesn't take place in Germany. A Samurai Slash Fest. And a new online game that has people in Japan completely addicted. Monster Hunter. I wonder what they hunted at. I don't know. Plus, later in the show, the sequel to Pro Race Driver and Yoshi from Screen Savers will be here to show us his elaborate racing simulator. But we begin with the, the show with a new role-playing game from Square Enix, a.k.a. the Final Fantasy people. It's the first time the Star Ocean series has been on the PlayStation 2. I know you're excited. Here's our preview of Star Ocean 3 for the PS2. <laughs> If there's one thing we can say about Square Enix, it's that they know games. Specifically, big, sprawling RPG games. And they're no stranger to cutesy, either. That said, I'd like to direct your attention towards their latest big, sprawling, cutesy RPG title, Star Ocean Till the End of Time. This is Lord Norton's turn, so beat it or else. At first glance, it looks to be the kind of game you might get if the nerdy birdies from the Anime Expo, Gen Con, the Star Trek convention all got together and made their perfect game. And who wouldn't want to play that? The game will take us far in the future, where man has colonized the deepest reaches of space and freely roams the stars. But life among the stars isn't all sunny alien beaches, even though that's where we meet our hero fate, Line God, and his oh-so-perky cousin Sophia. So, even though we're at the onset of an interstellar war, Fate spends his days playing video games, chumming around with circus freaks, and getting hit on by the occasional big-eyed hottie. How would you like to come up to my room for a little drinky? But before you can say wham-bam thank you blue-haired guy, their resort comes under attack from mysterious forces. After a couple of escapes and crash landings, Fate ends up separated from the ones he loves. So this is Vanguard 3. So who are the attackers and what do they want? The answer to these questions will lead Fate on an epic, multi-planet spanning quest, during which he'll meet all sorts of interesting characters, kill all sorts of interesting aliens, and maybe even find out a little bit about himself. Here we go, guys. Get a move Let's on. Take them on. Battles are frantic, real-time affairs. Every character has a number of long-range and short-range attacks available to them, in addition to the usual spells, items, and attack techniques. When you're not directly controlling a character, the game's AI will take over, fighting according to the general guidelines you set. It should also be noted that this is the director's cut of the original game released a year ago in Japan. So, in addition to expanding the already enormous quest with new areas and, oh, so lengthy cutscenes, the game adds a few other new features, including a versus fighting mode and some of the longest dramatic pauses ever found in a video game. Jeez. Just kidding. Basically, Star Ocean is set to please any RPG or anime fan worth his or her weight in full. Throughout this summer, this is definitely one game to keep an eye on. Okay, I guess I'll get some sleep. What's up with all the S&M whipping? I mean, the game was all like cute and whatever, and then did an Al Pacino and Cruz and thing. Yeah, well, you know, the Square people, they kind of like to make their characters suffer. You know, Aerith dies in Final Fantasy VII, Squall gets stabbed with an icicle in eight. There's a whole Titus thing in ten. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But if cuddly Japanese teens be beaten isn't your cup of tea, but it's a tasty cup, I gotta say, you should try playing a World War II strategy game. Why uh, not play it, huh? There are already, like, so many of them, like Commandos and Silent Storm. Yeah, but this one, it takes place in Africa. Well, that's dramatically different. Come on, this is our review of Desert Rat versus Africa Corps. Any news about the teammates? 
World War II is no stranger to the various video gaming arenas. Bloody waste of talent. That said, I guess it was only a matter of time before we'd see a game based on the conflict in Northern Africa. And presto! Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps fits that bill. Unfortunately, the game is a mixed bag of reasonably satisfying gameplay, peppered with an absolutely ridiculous storyline. So, stop me if you've heard this one. A French legionnaire, an English POW, and a tough-as-nails GI run into a Nazi they used to compete with in the Olympics on their way to catch a ride from a token love interest. Actually, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that one. Suffice to say, however, that that is the not-too-well-thought-out premise behind Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps. No, 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 left, left, I've left you idiot before we... So, all poorly voiced melodramatic cutscenes aside, all right? Desert Rats is a tactical combat game that includes two story-driven campaigns, one each for the Axis and Allied sides of the historical conflict in Africa. Each side has a huge array of units and support items like tanks, transport vehicles, artillery, and bunkers. Plus, the graphic design on all of the units remains impressive even on close inspections. The two campaigns are tied together by the relationship between the opposing commanders, who appear as special hero units during the actual game. Most missions are slow crawls through enemy territory, pitting your mobile forces against thoroughly entrenched enemies. But more often than not, the objective satisfying climactic battle is going to be a pitched tank encounter. Crowd. Now, as rapid and confusing as infantry combat can be, tank battles are a slow and ponderous affair. This nod towards realism is understandable, but the resulting gameplay leaves something to be desired. The combination of slowness, minimal mission briefing, and unforgiving difficulty means that you may have to play each scenario at least twice. Once simply to get the lay of the land, and again to see your enemy driven before you and to hear the lamentations of their women. As a purely tactical combat game, Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps offers a wide variety of units and strategies, but this is counterbalanced by the unforgiving difficulty and somewhat monotonous battles. And did I mention the terrible storyline? Bloody waste of talent. Still, we give Desert Rats vs. Africa Corps a passable three out of five. Okay, you want a good World War II game? Then stick to the first-person shooter, Call of Duty, Return to Wolf Castle Wolfenstein. You know, that one has zombie Nazis, so you can double your evil, like the Olsen twins. Yes, now not surprisingly, it turns out that the best real-time strategy games are based on fictional worlds, like Warcraft 3 and Command and & Conquer. And if you are an RTS fan, you only have to hold out a couple more months, because this year we'll see the release of three huge real-time strategy games. Yes, the epic Lord of the Rings game, Battle for Middle-Earth. Activision's Rome, Total War. And Warhammer 40K, Dawn of War. So, start saving your money now. Now, don't move away from the bright glow of your TV, because later in the show, we have Monster Hunter. Coming up, Way of the Samurai 2. Dying with dignity is uh, optional. Two of hip hop's hottest stars are moving into America's most uptight neighborhood. Sorry about the mess he's kicking it last night. I have no idea what that means. And when you're living this large, only one thing can slow you down. Hey, mama. Hi, mama. Hi. Ah. That's what you get for smoking in the house. Method and Red, putting the urban in suburban. You hoochies better stay away from my meatloaf. Meatloaf? Hoochies? Premiering Wednesday, June 16th on Fox. Guys, we know you can handle a long, hard day, but can your deodorant do the job? Oh, yeah. You've got Arm & Hammer Ultramax. Its unique clean feel formula gives 24-hour protection. That's 24 hours of clean. Through the quickest breakfast, through the tightest deadline, through the hottest night, it'll keep up even with you. And that's tough. Arm & Hammer Ultramax deodorant. 24 hours of clean. Guaranteed. Hey you, get MCSE, Cisco, or A-plus certified, guaranteed, with Smart Certify's fast and easy IT certification courses. You'll earn more money and have more job security once you're IT certified. Listen to this. If it wasn't for Smart Certify, I'd still be working a dead-end tech support job. Let me tell you, there's no better way to pass the IT exams than by using these courses. I've done tons of IT training, but Smart Certify's MCSE course was the best by far. Smart Certify has one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a money-back guarantee. I couldn't lose. Now it's easy to advance your career as a certified IT professional. 
Call 1-877-TRAINING today and mention code IT to take a free course title. Or go online at www.smartcertifieddirect.com. That's toll free at 1-877-TRAINING or www.smartcertifieddirect.com. Get your free course now. Fact. Scientists now know there are three major causes of male hair loss. Fact. The newly patented Follicare Hair Growth and Restoration System is the first product that fights all three of these hair killers. Fact. In testing by an independent lab, 100% of men using Follicare grew new hair in just eight weeks. That's right, 100% of men grew new hair, and you will too. We guarantee it. I was going bald. Then I started to use Follicare, and there's a lot more hair there in a very short period of time. It's a great product. Follicare was developed by Dr. Chris Catalpo, who at 28 years old was rapidly going bald. Desperate, Dr. Catalpo attacked all the reasons for his hair loss at once and now has a full head of hair. You too will grow hair with the patented Follicare system. We guarantee it for your money back. You can find hair loss and Follicare guarantees it. Unlike other products, Follicare costs as little as $1 a day. Call 1-800-710-0277 to order now. Follicare is easy, it's patented, and it works. Don't wait, call 1-800-710-0277 or visit Follicare.com and get started today. There's only one award show for gamers, G-Foria. Where wondrous celebs, heavenly vans, and gaming's biggest awards come together in a paradise for players. Join us for the ultimate gamer celebration. Watch it only on G4 Tech TV. G-Foria, sponsored by EB Games and G. Still featuring higher production value than most community theater, it's Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. The key word there is most. Welcome back to x -Play, the only show that provides your daily serving of Japanese feudal warfare. Yes, we have the sequel to 2002's Way of the Samurai. So there'll be lots of hacking, slashing, and gushing of blood. Here's our preview of Way of the Samurai 2. Picture this, Edo, Japan, over 200 years ago. You are Ronin, a masterless samurai in a 10-day odyssey in a small town of Amahara. Welcome to Way of the Samurai 2. Scheming officials and ambitious underworld leaders are in the market for hired help. I think you could help me with a job I need done. Q, your arrival. Have you ever thought of working for the magistrate's office? As the newest sword slinger in town, you must actively seek out relationships with non-player characters. There's going to be a festival here at Amahara Shrine on the 26th. I love festivals. Small tasks like running errands for needy civilians and saving victims from heartless thugs create relationships that have a lasting impact upon the plot's progression, for better or worse. The open-ended nature is perhaps one of this title's strongest attributes. Navigation is simple using this town map, which is divided into sections such as the inn, the shrine, the gate, and town outskirts. Each represent a location one can visit and explore. Stopping by certain locales helps to move the overall plot forward. Plus, you're free to roam around town at any time. Now, if I could only jump over this stupid box. Arr! With 400 special moves, including kicks, punches, swipes, jabs, and jumping attacks, engaging in combat with a lone or multiple adversaries is more than a necessary evil. It's a pleasure. Ha! Ah, take that! And that! Try and teach me karate! Why, you! During melees, informational windows will sporadically pop up to introduce even more abilities. These new abilities are great as long as you're not stuck fighting a pillar or a wall. Ooh. In this preview copy, the voice work can be, well, entertaining. Mm. You must be quite strong to stand up to him. I guess voice work might be overstating it a little. While the cutscenes have talking, You must be a spy! Most of the in-game conversations consist of a bunch of reading with grunts and groans thrown in for good measure. Hopefully this is something that can be fixed before the final package ships. Steeped in Asian culture, Way of the Samurai 2 could find a welcome home with admiring Westerners. Whether it'll prove a most honorable or shamefully disgraceful release won't be known for certain until summer. <laughs> I 
like how you stab someone in the game and then you have to do the one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi count where the blood just kind of sprays out of them. That's good times. Sure is. Yeah. Now run to the bathroom really fast because when we come back, we have a new online game everyone is talking about. And later, Yoshi from Screensavers will be here with his giant racing sim. Yeah. Up next, everybody loves to run the 100 yard dash in Monster Hunter. Hi, Mary Beth Hoyt here for The Handy Stitch, the sewing solution for today that makes sewing fun, fast, and easy. The Handy Stitch uses the latest micro technology and actually fits in the palm of your hand. It does the jobs that conventional sewing machines can't, so you can sew anything, anywhere, at any time. It has the precision of a small machine to repair delicate fabrics like silk, yet has the power of a big machine to sew through tough fabrics like denim. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, The Handy Stitch is for you. You can even do repairs while wearing your clothes. Repair a pocket without taking your pants off. Fix a fallen hem in the office in no time. Even use it for patching up outdoors. It's quick around corners and can add a decorative touch to all sorts of fabrics. You would never be able to sew draperies with a regular machine. The Handy Stitch is a portable sewing solution that makes life a little easier. It lets you put the professional touch on your home decorations and will pay for itself over and over. It gives you that genuine chain stitch, which means you get a secure, strong, and even stitch every time. It's battery powered or AC adaptable, so you can sew any fabric anywhere, anytime. Because of its compact size, it travels with you. The Handy Stitch can even be used outside to repair a flag or fix an awning. Regular machines are bulky and can cost over $500. Call now and you'll get the Handy Stitch complete with four threaded extra wide metal spools, the needle threader, and an extra spool pin for regular size thread. A $40 value for just $14.99. But call in the next five minutes and we'll also include this giant 64 piece thread and bobbin collection so you'll always have the right colored thread for any job. A $20 value, yours free. That means you get everything. The Handy Handy Stitch, all the accessories, and the 64-piece thread and bobbin collection, an incredible $60 value, all for just $14.99. So call this number right now. Here's how to order. To order Handy Stitch, call 1-800-927-8822. That's 1-800-927-8822. So call 1-800-927-8822 and order today. Are you getting caught with unhealthy credit card debt as you try to balance your life? There is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. 800 Credit Card Debt can eliminate penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. Call right now for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. Call 1-800-453-1306. Join G4 Tech TV as we look at the games taking this year's trip to g the award show for gamers. This week, meet the nominees for best graphics, innovation, and more. Feels good to beat a Deagle Double G. Join in the journey starting Friday at 8 p.m. The Road to g Volume 1, presented by EB Games and Jeep. Once again, I reckon it's old man Sessler and my web. Hey, <laughs> welcome back to X Play. Later in the show, we have Hilker Race Driver 2 and Yoshi's crazy racing sim rig. It looks like a mech, but first, we have a game many of you will be playing for months to come. It's from Capcom. It's called Monster Hunter, and it's an online action RPG that many of our friends in Japan have already spent hundreds of hours playing. We have friends in Japan. I might, you might know. It looks to be as addictive as Fantasy Star Online, and it has really big swords. Here's our preview of Monster Hunter. Friends. Capcom's success with Resident Evil Outbreak has gone to its head. Beyond a token sequel, which is in the works, the company is prepping a completely original yet like-minded cooperative online gaming experience for release this fall. Dubbed Monster Hunter, the title will charge hobbyists with the unsavory task of stalking and slaying mythical beasts. One thing that's apparent is that after this product debuts, you'll never look at safaris the same way again. First, choose a character. Ten total heroes are offered, split into five groups based on the weapons they carry. Each pair touts a particular sidearm, with available selections including a large sword, hammer, one-handed sword, lance, or bowgun. Armament matters. 
The swords are better for beginners since they're swift and easily employed. By comparison, a lance offers you a longer reach and more powerful charge attacks, yet often proves unwieldy in close quarters brawls. The lance is also quite popular amongst the ladies. As missions start, you're unceremoniously dumped into a sprawling landscape and given little direction concerning accomplishing your designated duties. A mini-map complete with zoom functions lets you get a quick fix on targets, locations, and current mindset. The straightforward approach isn't always the wisest. Placing pits, deadfalls, and booby traps is essential to capturing or exterminating your quarry. The general setup should promote scenarios where one party member serves as bait or shimmies into position while allies distract rampaging horrors. When it comes time to choose who amongst your friends shall serve as bait, you'll once again be reminded of how important it is to be popular. With this new game, much virtual bloodshed will surely ensue. Broadband equipped enthusiasts can log in and tune out as they try and trump one another by completing missions the fastest or coming up with the sharpest strategies. Alternately, Lone Rangers can fly solo and swipe a few trophies of their own. If online killing is your passion, keep a lookout for the title in September. Monster Hunter will come out later this year, and we'll be sure to bring you our full review when it does. Until then, watch G4 Tech TV this week to see The Road to g the award show for gamers presented by EB Games and Jeep. It premieres this Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Now don't leave us. We have Racing Madness of Nintendo. Up next. This is what happens when Adam drives in Toka Rich Driver 2. Fly. Rent the games you want, play as long as you want, for one flat rate. No due dates, no late fees. Go to Gamefly.com for your free trial. It's a chance to interact with Microsoft directly. As a live person, you feel like you're actually a partner with the company. You have a chance to ask questions and get a direct response. Don't feel too intimidated. So it's like everyone's kind of different backgrounds, different levels. And they're very helpful with questions. Yeah. They're on it, so. Absolutely, absolutely free. Absolutely. Call 877 10 or visit technetbriefings.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. And I'm Christy Brinkley. The Total Gym is the one piece of fitness equipment that replaces an entire gym full of equipment. It's the fastest and most effective way I've ever seen to get into shape and stay in shape. A few minutes a day is all it takes to get into the best shape of your life. And we're not the only ones that feel this way. The Total Gym is now used in over 14,000 health and fitness facilities to train millions of people each year. It's the favorite of everyone from world-class and professional athletes to millions of families who have it in their homes. And with over a billion dollars in sales in 85 countries, the Total Gym stands alone. And right now, you can try it in your own home absolutely risk-free for an entire month. You won't even be charged for shipping and handling. Or you can ask for this free DVD and information kit. Call 1-800-322-1598. That's 1-800-322-1598. Are you Kevin Banks? Uh-huh. You are the winner of G4 Tech TV's $100,000 Digital Dig Sweepstakes. With G4 Tech TV's Digital Dig Sweepstakes, you could win a $100,000 tech makeover for your home. From start to finish, bedroom to living room, we'll make over your home in the hottest tech stuff out there. For more details, watch G4 Tech TV from June 14th to 27th or log on to G4TechTV.com slash Digital Digs. Brought to you by Circuit City and Yahoo. Once again, two people still waiting for Godot, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Next time, I'll bring rope. 
We're back, and in a moment, we'll have Yoshi from Screensavers on the show. But right now, we review the follow-up 2002's popular pro race driver, which was most notable for its story mode. Now it's got a new name and a new story. Sort of. Here's our review of Toga Race Driver 2. Why, oh why, am I always assigned these racing games when I can barely drive a real car? Oops, no problem, I can handle it. Yikes, I hope I can make it to the pit. That's the end of the line, son. You've torqued the car. The preceding scenario is likely to be your first experience with Toka Race Driver 2. Nice race. No, thank you. The story is no, back, no, though no, it's no, a no, touch no, less no, melodramatic. No. Hey, Scotty, how about you park your mouth and let your pal here make up his mind? And along with it is a free race mode that's fun for the gearheads and the obligatory Xbox Live support. Excellent driving, lad. Keep it up. But first, let's talk about career mode. Here you play an up-and-coming race driver who, with the help of your surly but lovable Scottish mechanic... You're out there to win racy, son. No play bumper cars like a whale. Beam me up, Scotty. Jeez. You enter into various championships, race the bejesus out of your cars, and hope you do well enough to move on to the next challenge. What's most impressive about all this is the number of different racing styles you'll encounter. By and large, the variety in the races is a solid strength in this game, and there are a lot of races to play through. We're talking upwards of 50 tracks from all over the world. Good hunting, son. We still need to win 17,000. Even though you need to complete events in a linear fashion, the challenges are doable if you bother to learn how to drive well. And if you'd rather be a bullying roadhog, you can do that too. Your car will take damage if you drive too aggressively, and this will affect how your vehicle handles. This gearbox must have taken a knock. If you're wondering how you go about managing your career in career mode, the answer is right. you don't. Remember, this championship's all about getting on the podium. You don't tweak your car, you don't save up your winnings to buy better parts. Hell, you don't even run a qualifying lap. If you want to mess around with any of that stuff, you have to do it in free race mode. Here you can choose a race, set your preferences, and go. Wow, check out those graphics. The shadows, the reflections. Very impressive for... Okay, better keep my eyes on the road. With exceptionally solid driving physics, full-on damage model, aggressive but no insane AI, and live support, this game packs a wallop. In fact, it's safe to say that if you're reasonably interested in racing games, any kind of racing game, you'll find something to like here. We give Toka Race Driver 2 a 4 out of 5. Well, you did all right, son. So, if you like playing racing games, but you want a more immersive experience, Yoshi from the Screensavers is here to show off his crazy racing simulator. I feel yeah. immersed. This, this is crazy. Uh, what, what did you do? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I'm kind of obsessed with racing, so yeah. I wanted a real racing seat with a welded tube steel chassis, you know, surround sound, like surround monitors. I have to say, the seat is rumbling. I under got a 400 me. watt transducer mounted to the seat. That'll In do addition it. to the 2400 watts, I just sit on the dryer. Anyway, well, you know, so, everyone's got to have their so own fun. Back here, we have, okay, obviously, we have a PC right there. What's, what's the rest of the stuff? Uh, well, that's my uh, home theater amp. Uh huh. <laughs> Which is a Dinan amp. This is the amp that goes to the transducer on the seat. Computer, of course. Athlon 64, the Matrox video card, so I can get the three three way gaming action, get the surround going. How 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 long did it take you to, to put this thing together? Uh, it took me about a solid week. It's a, a week. Yeah, and that's for you. So for normal people, I have. Yeah, well, I, I had to learn how to weld never. at the same time. So. Oh yeah, sure. Just pick <laughs> that up on the side. That's a good idea then. Well, I, I did it so I could learn how to weld. So, so. I mean, M Morgan, is it cool? Yeah. Is it? It's very cool. You know what? The scariest part is crashing because you really see everything coming towards you. So I'm trying not to. Do and that. when it's mounted on this nice stand, it kind of rocks, and so you ah, get that, that motion sound. You don't get really motion moving. sick, do you? Uh, I hope not. Do you have like a catheter that you can pee into if you want to simulate like the That's coming with my uh, NASCAR uh, endurance suit. So okay, so 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 this is NASCAR right here that that Morgan's playing. This is NASCAR. What other games? Can any racing game play on this? Yeah, or? I played Toka 2 on it. Okay. I played uh, you know, F1 2002. I like the NASCAR game because of the mods that are available for it, or ones I like the Trans Am series. And I mean, kind of have you even considered if there are any other games out there that, that might be applicable to the three screen setup? I guess you only have the steering wheel there, so they would yeah, have pretty to much. Well, that new, that new uh, Xbox game, the three monitors. Right, right. Steel, Steel Battalion would probably work oh, yeah, Steel very Battalion nice. Steel Battalion awesome. awesome. so, Okay, so you've got everyone all excited out there. They're like, I want to do this. What's what's the ballpark figure how much this would have to run you? Well, it depends upon how extreme you're going to go with the speakers and monitors. You so, have this the one speakers. was about 30 yeah. grand. 
Uh, about, about 30 grand. Yeah, you could probably do it for closer to 9 or 10, though. Wow, wow. Yeah, if I stayed at home and worked on stuff, maybe I could save up that kind of money instead of, you know, we're not going to go into it. Well, you know, that's just how we, we game over there. You know, money yeah. is, you know. Well, okay, well, thank you very much, Yoshi. You have been, and now, and some of these tips are available. I believe they are available they are on their website. They are available on the website. G4TechTV.com slash Yes. All right, say, say, say goodbye, Morgan, who's having more fun Hi. than I am right now. I'm going to try goodbye. and crash it. Like, oh, slide Rolling on me makes me snot. G4 Tech TV. Stay connected for more information.